Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, good morning, it's Robin. This is Morning Magic. This is our time to come together and practice riding in the light, remembering the light, choosing the light. Not always the easiest thing in the world, am I right? <laughs> um, this is our time to be together and share in this love, share in this joy, share in this practice of healing and choosing and remembering. And again, not always easy. So we need a posse. I need a posse. That's you. That's me. That's us together going like this. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I have to sing the song, you know. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Friends, it's so lovely to see you arriving here this morning. I was a little late getting here, I know. Putting on a little lip gloss and trying to comb this beast of a hair right now. I think my hair is lion's gate hair. I've been sitting with the lion's gate energy this morning. I'm not a big astrology anything. I don't know a lot. You know, I just tune in and it feels like such a powerful day. Um, the energy of maybe we're closing the gap between us and the divine, you know? So powerful, powerful day. Let me say hi to you. Josie, first one here. Good morning, Miss Josie. Afternoon for you, of course. Good afternoon, Miss Carol. Hello, beautiful soul. Hello, beautiful Amy. Good morning. Welcome back. Hello, beautiful Stuart. How's my friend Stuart? Hello, beautiful husband. Happy you're here. Hi, Caitlin. I'm happy to see you. I saw a cute uh, text of you and your number one husband on Zoom last night. So cute. I said, say hi from me. Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Ah, Miss Melanie, Miss Melanie. Good morning. Miss Mary, good morning. Miss Anna, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope my signal is strong today. Hi. Um, the weather in my heart is excellent. There's a group of bicyclers going by right now. They're all wearing helmets. This is a very good thing. Last year, one of my closest friends said, Robin, promise me you will not ride your bike again without a helmet. I used to ride without. And then a guy in our neighborhood was, you know what happened? He didn't have his helmet on and something very silly happened, like a car door opened on his path. And that was that. So... They all had their helmets on, and I have one too. Hello, how do I get on these topics, y'all? I don't know. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, gorgeous friends. Good morning, Jen, I'm happy to see you. Good morning, a life full of passions. Good morning, Shelby Paul. Hello, hello, hello. Friends, are you doing good today? Did you wake up and hug yourself? I hope so, let's cheers. I vote we cheers to the Lion's Gate and here's to your deepest, widest, beautifulest, powerfulest evolution, transformation, realization, because you're already there. Hello, did you know you're already there? Cheers. Mm. So good. Caitlin says, virtual game chat nights with the number one parents are the best. You know, when you get along with someone, when it's good, when you know you're loved, it is a special, special thing. It's something to know and celebrate every single day, no matter what. You know, no matter what I'm talking about, whether it's you have awesome parents-in-law or whatever, you need to celebrate these things. So friends... <clears throat> I want to know what your word of the day is today, and I want to know how you are. I have to go get a Kleenex. One second. And of course, I don't have Kleenex. I'm still here. 
Okay, here we go. And the fish are behind me going, Robin, you never fed us yet today. So they're back there swimming like, there's a lady in the house. You know what? I'm going to feed them. Hi, this is my fish tank. While you're telling me what's going on, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. There they are. They're like, it's about time, lady. <laughs> you already know I'm nuts. So why don't I just feed the fish on the morning magic live? <laughs> so today, the vibes are, I am going to talk about, let us please re-gauge our gauge. Jeff and I had this great discussion this morning and about how it's time we need to really reframe things, reframe our stories. And look at that, like revive, perfect word today, perfect word, revive for Caitlin. It's time to rework the stories we're telling. You know, whatever's going on in your world right now. Hi, did you know we're in a pandemic? On top of 800 bazillion the other things that happened this week and ongoing happenings, you know, tornadoes, hurricanes. This morning I'm reading that our president is passing an executive order to shut down TikTok. <laughs> you know, um, let us pause for the bambalance. Um, you know, there's a lot going on. And if you were not careful sometimes, we will get down on ourselves as we're observing things that are happening. So today, let us talk about reframing, setting a new gauge about what means we're okay, we're doing all right, how we tell the story. So let me get caught up here. I guess we're all moving to the word revive. Look at you, Miss Trendsetter, Caitlin. So beautiful. Oh, it's Shelby's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shelby. Happy birthday to you, beautiful soul. May this be your best year yet. May this be the year. So much love. Happy birthday, honey. Um, yeah, Jeff likes revive too. Josie says, I haven't picked a word today yet. A bit poorly today and it's super hot here. I guess I've been distracted. Come right over here and Rest your head on my healing couch, please. It's very cool here. It's very soothing and loving here. And I love you. And thanks for being here anyway. I appreciate that, Josie. Let's pick a word together. Melanie likes revive. Ksh. Josie could do with reviving. Ksh. Josie, right here. See, the couch is ready for you, darling. And then we can go in the pool later. How's that? Have a little soak. The indoor pool or the outdoor pool, also known as the bathtub. Yeah. Your Jeff's word of the day is cool. Caitlin's feeling the love. Mary hasn't picked a word yet either. Okay, you guys. We're going to pick one, though. We're going to pick a focus today. It's important, especially for the Lionsgate portal. So you should say it like that, portal. Stick your tongue out. Amy says, my word is creative. I'm lacking inspiration for my art. Okay, well, we're going to reframe that inspiration lacking story. Okay, I'll go with revive, says Stuart. Hello. Caitlin says, happy birthday, Shelby. Hello, Miss Carrie Groat. Good morning, honey. And hello to your mama. I feel like a uh, word to your mother. Miss Carrie, word to your mother. I don't know why the little dance. Happy birthday, Shelby. Thank you, Robin. Couch and pool sounds great. Yeah, and I even make you some lemonade or some iced tea. Okay, your pick. Good morning, Amanda. So this idea of <laughs> merry birthday, Shelby. Okay, Shelby, make sure you're reading the comments. That's all I'm going to say. I won't keep reading these. You guys... We need to reframe how this is going. 
here's an interesting example we were talking about this morning, Jeff and I. You know, we know a lot of friends who are doing, who, you know that story, they're doing really well. Like they're successful in their business. They have a lot of money. They're, they seem to have all their shit figured out, you know, and then they're in your life and you, you judge yourself against them. Like, oh, and then there's us, like hillbillies or whatever, you know? That's just one example I can think of for Jeff and I. We're the hillbillies in this example, apparently, according to Robin, but <laughs> that's not true. You know, just the example. You judge yourself. You compare. You gauge yourself. And then you feel bad. Here comes our yellow bird. She's back every morning. We're here. She's here. She arrives and eats at the little flowers. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff says, attention, Carrie is in the house. Um, <laughs> so you feel badly about yourself or, you know, you're healing something, an illness and other people are well and they're not appreciating their wellness. They're taking it for granted. We have these things where we bounce, 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 bounce. So what happens now? <laughs> yeah. I'm a hillbilly. Did you know, Melanie? Yeah. So what happens when something like COVID shuts down the entire company of our friend that we've used as our reason to beat ourselves up by like their business is gone and they're in a tailspin you know so what happens to that like i think we need to stop doing that to ourselves because everybody is experiencing a change a, a change I will offer you the free training. The secret is, um, I don't have the answer. <laughs> just to just be like us. Yeah. Reinventing things, doing it your way and doing it your way and being unique. And I think you're there. So hi, hillbilly. Um, we judge ourselves. We're so hard on ourselves. And today's the day, this whole week, I feel the energy is about reframing your story reframing the story you tell. I said to Jeff, what would you love? Um, what, what do you appreciate about other people, their good life? What do you love about the good life other people live? And it's funny how I was thinking of it as an inspiration. And he almost seemed sad as he was recounting things to do with success and money. And then he said, body of having a body of work. And then he said, lay around and do nothing. Kind of lay, a lot, lay around, or time to, I don't remember how you said it, honey. Time to be free and do what you want. And um, time to take it easy. And I was like, you have a lot, you have a lot of that. And you have a huge body of work. You know, just like reframe it. You've written, he's written amazing databases for companies and you know, made things happen. And I was thinking about me as well. Like, even with COVID, a lot of people aren't um, doing private healing sessions right now. And that's been something I've had to like, like this jump, jump into, like be learn to be okay with in lots of ways, you know, and learning not to take your identity from any of the old stuff is really hugely, hugely key. But one of the things I think about a lot is how many lives I've changed, you know? So even if like I never did another healing again, which ha, that would not happen. You know, that's why I started coming here and offering them to you. Um, I've changed lives, the person's life, They've changed their children's lives. They've changed their, you know what I'm saying? So today is this day. Uh, I hope I'm making sense and you're thinking of things for your own life. Today's this day to reframe how you're telling your story and how you're seeing the world. And especially for those who always love to read dystopian novels. And I'm thinking about Cormac McCarthy's The Road. Sometimes this pandemic... If you watch enough news and hear enough things, you can get scared. But friends, this is a time to reframe it. Reframe it. Regage how you look at what a good life is for you. What it means to be happy and well. 
and maybe even to own a little bit, take responsibility a little bit. Just start to do this work of being honest about what you're doing. If you can relate to my friend, number one husband, who sometimes, you know, gets down on his lack of perceived, okay, perceived lack of success or progress or body of work we were talking about, or you have friends that have a lot of money and you don't, whatever. Um, it's time to reframe that and also to say, why do I keep doing that to myself? I don't know what your yo-yo story is, you know, but I think a lot of us have this where we are hard on ourselves, but we don't really challenge ourselves to change the story. I would never in a bajillion years trade my life. I would never in a bajillion years trade this time with you. And so even though their struggle and struff, struffering, <laughs> I invent words, you know, struffering. We have to do this. We have to do this because there's a new world happening. Things are going on and we want a perspective that's pulling us through this. I hope that makes sense. Let me catch up with you here. <laughs> have you figured out the hillbilly secret or have you just decided you are one with me? I love the way we do it. I hope you mean me and the we, Melanie. I love the way we do it too. Hi, Shizu Camera. Good morning. Hi, Shelly. Good morning. Hello, Jen. You love our time together. Thank you, Jen. I said hello, but you know what I mean. Hello. I love our time together too. It's amazing. Thanks for lovely energy every day. You are welcome. Thanks for being here. For sure identifying with this thank you Robin and Jeff yeah it's it's huge um, it's huge and I you know emotionally sometimes I was a little tearful this morning I was up through the night I went to the beach with number one kiddo and we were talking about stuff like the future and money and um, you know even in her job she still has her job but there's been a pay cut and this and that and we talked about the psychological impact of that, um, how it weighs on you, but this is where we need to rise. We must rise. The spirit in us is the real deal. And this ego body, this personality construct, we must keep this in perspective that it's not everything. It's not everything because if you have, if you think it's everything and then your business closes, my, my, one of my dear girlfriends opened her dream shop three weeks before the pandemic and, you know, poured a lot into that money, heart and soul. And it's been, um, super hard for her, but only if we believe we are the, the, the shop, we are the business, we are the income. Only if we believe our worth is as far as that goes. And if that's what you believe, there's nothing you can do. You're screwed, <laughs> you know, because you, your ego has you in its claw, <sighs> like that. The ego's like, yes, I'm so happy you are upset right now. And you are amazing and we are amazing. And the truth is opportunities will continue to align to you as you open your heart. Comes the UPS man delivering some fresh, amazing stuff, you know, as we continue to open our heart and receive. Last week on episode 100, Melanie wrote this great letter. If you haven't had a chance to listen, it is so kick ass. <laughs> Did I say that? We used to say that in the 80s a lot kick ass. Um, I talk about the portal like receiving, opening to this portal of manifestation, anything you want. The thing is like Paul Selig and the guides say, if you have a friend who's wealthy and you're not, and you're like, Ugh, you're in accord, you're in alignment with the, Ugh. <laughs> so in a way your manifesting portal is from, Ugh. get it? Yes, is that a word? Carol says, great topic. I see this in me and so many other people, how we position ourselves towards our stories in the same old ways. 
Thank you, my friend. I love that you're, um, you guys are saying this. You know, the Book of Truth, I've been listening to it at night while I sleep. Is that the one you're listening to, Carol? We were writing about this. Um, wow, it's just so, it's like you are in accord with a lie. That's what he says. You are in accord with a lie. When you say I'm a piece of shit or I haven't done anything with my life or it's all hopelessly forked, you are in accord with a lie. And now you are building a reality on sand. It's not true, but nobody can make you um, change. I can only talk to you about this, you know? Melanie says, you both have an incredible body of work in your partnership. Wow, it's really no small thing. It's wow. Melanie, see, that's one I didn't even see. This sacred relationship thing is huge. Thank you, love. The courage to show up and be together. Oh, our hummingbird is here, you guys. She just flew in, a little iridescent green hummingbird. Wow. That, Jeff, are you listening? I didn't, we didn't even, we both talked about body of work in terms of like the work we put out. And I was like, Jeff, what about all the databases you've written? All the companies that are um, running because of you, you know, some big, big companies that are solely going, there's a gluten-free cracker company in Illinois that's solely um, putting out data and knowing what they need to bake and how to bake it and all that because of Jeff. Isn't that amazing, you know? But I didn't even say our relationship, our beautiful children, you know, all of these legacies. Thank you. Bittersweet meme, good morning. Josie says, did you ever get the UK 70s show, The Good Life in the States? I think our neighbors think of us like that. I think you would relate. Yeah, I. there are so many shows. I, I have never seen that one. I'll have to look that up. We, we do love our UK shows. Endeavor comes out tomorrow night. She's so excited. Yeah, Carol and I are on the same book. That's amazing. Think about that, you know, um... How many of us are walking together today? It's Saturday. There's a bunch of us here choosing to be here, you know? And it's like um, we're affecting change. We can affect change for ourselves. We can. We can. We can. We can. Do we want to? I'm going to start a little, little, a big healing today. This is for the gateway. I want to do something special for us, those of you here. So if the healing's not for you, no worries. It's fine. Just do this in front of your face once, please. Um, may we understand and realize the true power that is here now. May we receive the truth of who we are and allow ourselves to release the old story like finally, like now, like step in. May we do this in love and may we choose to be the beacon we actually already always were for others as well. And so it is, amen. Yeah. Reframe, revive, receive. There you go, babe. She's got, is that gonna be the, the words? That's amazing. Friends, it's so easy to feel down. And the truth is, the body is real. You know, those of us who like the Course in Miracles, you know, it says, I'm not a body, I'm free, I am as God created me. It's just saying that don't align with your poopy thoughts and your fearful stories. Don't align there. And if you get something happens to the body like you're aging you know your boobs fall to your knees women have some issues with boobs how did i get into boobs from there <laughs> i don't know i'm just saying what's coming here but you know that's what they're talking about let's not just align there all i am are my boobs you know or all i am is my face or all i am is this hair and then you you go bald you know or whatever so, or if you have the illness, you know, right now you're working on healing that. 
You're not just that. So stop it. Please stop it. You're not just that. You must open to the moreness that's here. And sometimes the truth is, if you eat food, you are impacted. Your gut and your brain are connected. There's so much research now. So let's say you eat, for me, it would be high fructose corn syrup. The next day, if I'm feeling down, I often can say, yeah, and I ate buttercream. No, buttercream frosting wouldn't have it, but I ate something with it in there. Sometimes it happens, you know. Yeah, I remind myself, yep, that's all, and it's fine. But if you don't practice, then you're just going down, down. What's that song? Down, down, baby. Whoops. Da, 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 da. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pup. <laughs> you're like, no, it's all terrible. So Carol says, I actually started to try to make it fun to reframe to find the beautiful story, to detect the lie and create the new story. And sometimes it works. And that's, that's gorgeous. That's the beautiful thing. You know, these topics can be complex in the teachings. I know what I'm talking about today is a bit more out there. Well, let's be honest, that's almost every day here, but you know, it can be a little bit complex. But if you get just a glimmer, you understand just a smidge, just a slice, you are on your way. That's all it takes. So what story are we healing for you? You know, for me, it's the knowing that all will be well. I need to do this alignment dance more and more and more and be true to myself as I go because I know I'm all right. I get into moments where I get scared, and especially when I'm having conversations with friends who aren't as, um, aren't on the same, we're not walking the exact same kind of direction, I guess I would say. It's not to say other people aren't doing it right. I'm just saying we have different focuses. Everybody is awakening at their level of understanding. I do love that. I do see it too. So the person who's losing their business and they're faced with, who am I? That's awakening. You know, the person who's dealing with illness, they're working on, um, I want to be alive. What does aliveness look like? You know, that's a beautiful journey. And my journey's this other way, you know. But sometimes when I have conversations that aren't aligned with what I'm dealing with, I get a little mixed up. Here goes my motorcycle, man. And do you know it's a turquoise motorcycle? That is my favorite color. So funny. Wonder where he's going. Sometimes I tell the joke, he's come to take me away. <laughs> you know, like, ah, take me to a better place in my thoughts, in my heart, you know. So sometimes you get mixed up. You get confused. You talk to your one aunt too long and you're a little out there. You're a little out of it. And if you're feeling that way, you know, or you're with a group of people or you're with somebody who's not struggling, you know, the way you are, they seem to have it so easy. Before you go into comparison and judging yourself or, or feeling sad or beating up on yourself or or even, this is the other thing I see people do, getting defensive and picking at the other people. Because that's not what we're supposed to be doing either. We're all children of God. So if you need to attack other people in your mind to feel better about yourself, that's where I would begin my practice if I were you. Because that's not what we're doing too. We're not doing that. It doesn't help. It's um, My old meditation teacher used to say, buy one, get one free. If I buy into that for you, I get it for free for myself. And she was right. Carrie says, I've been so exhausted. I've been aligning with the fatigue and feeling sad that my whole life is about sleep and no energy to do what I like. Realign, blessing the fatigue and remember who I am. 
Yeah, thumbs up from Josie too. And Carrie, that's so true. And to say, you are doing a good job with manifesting because you've been focused on aligning with fatigue and feeling sad that your whole life is about sleep and no energy. So you see how you've been in accord with that. And to me, you know, when I, at my worst depression, um, when I was thinking about checking out and that has, that was like a three month journey several summer, summers ago, never want to go back there. But um, if it happens again, I'll be ready. I'll, I'll, I'll be ready for you. I'm telling you, future, any possibility, look out. I will do it totally different because I think I rode through those months the same way, Carrie. Just, this is who I am. This is what it's come to. I can't believe this is me. I can't believe, you know, like, and that's what we're doing to ourselves. We're in accord with that. So, of course. You know, when you say I'm not worthy, of course you're attracting opportunities that are not reflect the not worthiness. So the new story is I remember who I am. I know who I am in truth. I know what I am in truth and I know how I serve in truth. I have come or here I am. I am here, right? Yeah. Carol says, I would love to get excited about every new alignment. And also it helps me to remember what you said last week. God is in the unknown. Yeah. I love that plan. I'll make that commitment with you, Carol. You and I can be accountability partners. I would love that plan too. Um, some things we've practiced for so long that it takes time to work out the kinks. So, you know, like I have those stories too, and it's still taking time for it to go away. Although I am feeling so much more eased since I, since our healing circle, even that was like the day I realized I'm making a new commitment to showing up and offering healing and getting myself excited about that. Even if there's, um, you know, zero income right now. That's a scary thing. I get it, you know, because we've identified with that. That's why it's scary. We've identified as that. That's who we are, right? I think it takes a lot of courage for me to stand here and say it, but you know, I want to, I want us all to, yeah, I care more about that. So God is in the unknown. Um, this came through in the new channel, channeling from the guides. Paul's latest book, I think they're writing, which I think is going to be called The Kingdom, will be out next year. <laughs> but um, God is in the unknown. And so when we say we don't believe, um, we're afraid of the unknown. That's what it was, that we're really afraid of the divine. We're saying we're afraid of God. We're saying we're afraid of God. Lena, every week you come here and say the same story, honey. That's all there is to it. How can you reframe it? That's what the conversation is about today. Choose a new perspective. That's where our work is now. We've got to do it, all of us. Every single one of us here could tell a story like you do. And, you know, we understand the effects of the story. So, honey, in your heart... You make a new choice now. I'm inviting you to do that. We don't help each other like we once thought we did by not speaking to the truth. If we align with the upset stories, we're helping people stay there. And I care about us too much to do that. I do. I'm not doing it anymore. I have them for a long time, actually. So, friends, you know, I hope this has been helpful and supportive for your heart today. I hope there's a good takeaway. I'm looking forward to your reframes today, to your gauging the new stories, to being excited and uplifted 
um, to remembering that if you're not feeling well, I wonder if there's something you've been in accord with, a story you've been into alignment with or not, you know? So let me just do, I haven't done our tuning forks in a while. Let me just do that. And um, let this wash down over your body. Love you, Josie. Friends, remember your inner little child today. There's a little girl inside, a little boy inside, in need of your love and your encouragement. Don't just let her go and not hold her hand today. Don't do that, okay? Be there for you. Be there for you, okay? Jeff says, I hope everyone can reframe and find moments of peace today. Rest, love. Yeah, thank you, Robin, thank you. Thank you, Jeff, Josie says. Happy birthday again, Shelby. Thank you, Jen. I always love when I get to be here with you. Thank you, Mary. You know, friends, if this felt supportive, I appreciate your support. There's a link here. Courses, healing sessions. But, but mostly because I do believe in this practice. That's the best support ever. And if there's an aligned friend, tell them. Invite them to come join our posse. We are changing the world, beginning with our own hearts, and it's beautiful. So I can't wait already to see you tomorrow. I'll be here again in the morning. Um, thank you on the replay. Thank you, Carol. And let's be accountability partners, friends. Carrie says, thank you, Jeff. That's beautiful. I, you know, in this moment, I just want to add, I know I'm saying goodbye and a bunch of you have left already, but do you realize how much you help each other? How much you help me? Just like, do I realize how much I help you? In this moment, it's really feeling strongly like a yes. So let's claim our yes today. There's power here, right? Jeff is such a soother. You're all such a soother for me. Okay, I'm going to ring the bell. And would somebody type now? And remember, it's now. It's now. I love you so much. And I will see you in the morning. And really, here is the couch. Anybody needs to send their little kiddo here for a nap today? You can. This is the healing room after all. Love you, Melanie. My friend. Now. God bless my friend here. Please let them know how loved and appreciated they are, how beautiful and wonderful their heart is, and the choices are all before them. Bless them and keep them, and I know who they are in truth. I know who you are in truth. I know what you are in truth, and I know how you serve in truth. You are free. You are free. You are free. We are free. We are free. We are free. I love you, and I see you in the morning, okay?